While damage from early July storms is mostly cleaned up, it has also cleaned out a lot of families who are still dealing with the devastation. Jamil Donath shows us one Bemidji couple whose bank account was hit hard by storm cleanup costs. You could not see our grass. Dozens of fallen trees from July 2nd's severe storm once covered Jan and Peter Guggenheimer's property. I absolutely could not believe the degree of devastation. And while the bulk of the cleanup work is done, the damage from this storm left behind quite the price tag. It was $5,700. In their 23 years of living at their home just south of Bemidji, the Guggenheimers normally deal with downed trees on their own. But this time they had to hire professional help. This was just so mammoth that there was no way that I was going to do it in a timely fashion. While the driveway is clear now, when Jan tried to drive home on the day of the storm, it was a different story. This entire area was completely covered by fallen trees from either side. It really did almost look like a forest. I couldn't really see the driveway. It was shocking. Um, I just had never really seen anything like that. Jan had to drive off road through a rugged field and through this opening in her backyard just to get to her house. I drove in the field, boom, 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 as carefully as I could. Luckily, I had a kind of a four-wheel drive vehicle. Even the hassle to get home and all of this damage, insurance will only cover about $500 of the Guggenheimer's nearly $6,000 bill. Two solid days, like morning till night, cleaning out what's been cleaned out. However, this couple is thankful that their wallets were the worst hit by the storm. Jamil Donath, Lakeland News. The Guggenheimers had to pay more for cleanup because loggers assess the cost of removing fallen trees based on the amount of danger, which is far greater when dealing with storm damage. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.